The Rainbird MaxiPaw 204508 SAM NP is a closed case impact rotor with a purple top to signify that it's supplied by a non potable water source. We're going to discuss a few of the features and show you how to change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your sprinkler warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. This is the 2045 MaxiPaw Sealomatic Rotor by Rainbird. It's an impact rotor that pops up similar to the way most gear driven rotors do. Two of the main kinds of rotors that are used today are gear driven, like this one, and impact rotors. So, what's the difference? Gear driven rotors have all the mechanisms that turn the rotor inside the body, while impact rotors have all the mechanisms outside the sprinkler body. So impact rotors have a straight through water flow with no gears getting in the way. And that makes them good for dirty water applications. This model of MaxiPaw has a purple top to indicate that it's being used with a non-potable water source. Many local jurisdictions and water districts require irrigation equipment to be marked with the color purple so that anyone working on the system will know that the water is not suitable for drinking and may contain contaminants. This model of MaxiPaw also has a seal check valve. Having a check valve prevents low head drainage. Here's what that means. If there's a significant elevation difference within a zone, when the sprinklers are shut off, the lowest heads often drain the water out of the piping within that zone. This can result in puddling and erosion. A check valve will prevent water from draining out of the head. The sealomatic check valve on the MaxiPaw works with up to 10 feet of elevation change. This rotor pops up three inches above the soil. This rotor has a combination inlet on bottom that accepts both half inch and three quarter inch fittings and it has a half inch fitting on the side as well. Now note, in order for the seal matic to work, you have to use the bottom inlet. You cannot use the side inlet when you want the seal matic function. The MaxiPaw can be set to a 360 degree full circle or arc adjustable from 20 to 340 degrees. This rotor comes with five standard trajectory nozzles and two low angle nozzles. It has a watering distance of 22 to 45 feet, depending on the nozzle installed and how the adjustment screw is set. To change the nozzle, the water should be off. Pry up the cover on the MaxiPaw. While holding the cover up with one hand, swing this little arm out of the way to reveal the nozzle. There's this little tab on the left of the nozzle. Apply forward pressure to it as you turn the nozzle counterclockwise and the nozzle will slide right out. Put the new nozzle in place with the long tab down, then twist clockwise until the nozzle locks into place. You can now release that little arm. You can adjust the diffusion screw to shorten or lengthen the watering distance, also called the radius. The diffusion screw also breaks up the spray to create a more even watering pattern. This little lever in back, which I'm going to call the trip switch, switches the impact from a full circle to a partial circle pattern. When the trip switch hits each side of the wings of the trip collar, the impact reverses direction. To change the pattern, also called the arc, just move the trip collars. No tools necessary. You can set the arc from anywhere between 20 and 340 degrees. The MaxiPaw is a very popular rotor with our customers. I think you're going to love working with it. Order your MaxiPaws today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.